Hey guys, welcome to a little tutorial I'm going to be having. This is about how to create a circuit all the way through the development stage into designing a printed circuit board. From there you will be able to etch your own PCBs and have a working product that looks good and you can say that you've done it all. Okay, the first thing you want to do is have a design that works well. For uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to just um, pick an ambiguous circuit. Um, that's good. Let's say you have a circuit that you like, that you created. It could really be anything that you want to finalize as a PCB. All right, once you get to this point, you go up to here and transfer to Ulti board. I'm just gonna design this. that is not what you want <laughs> before doing that you want to make sure all of your components are in blue that means that they have a footprint a footprint is just a mechanical outline of the pinout of your device say some resistors are longer than others you know that that kind of explains itself I'm going to replace this with, let's see, rated, okay. Uh, that does not have a footprint, so I'm going to keep looking. Ah, there we go. See right there, it has a, a dip. 8 pin package. That is what I want. This doesn't have to look all pretty, but it should if you uh, want to document it. Okay, now I can transfer to Ulti board with no problems. I save over that mess I created. And here I go. Now these components are definitely not the size you want them to be. These are, looks like they're surface mount resistors. Um, this is my IC. And you could tell that the pad size is way too big because it's running into other pins and shorting them out. I'm going to explain to you why this happens and how to fix it. Okay, what I like to do is do this deal. Now, to change your X, if you already have a board and you want to take up as much room as you can on the board, double click board outline. Double click it. And you can set the width and height in any of these formats. Let's say I want a 5x5. Five five. That's what I end up having. Uh, bad design practice would be to go up here and do auto placement. Sometimes it zooms out. See that? That is, that's not ideal. So, forget about that. The only time where auto routing is good is if you have a few connections that you can't seem to get right it just helps you out trying to figure out where they can go all right moving along these are definitely the wrong size capacitors so just for demonstration purposes you're going to actually have all of these picked out already physically have them or if you're ordering from digikey or whatever 
you have the actual dimensions in the pin pitch and all that stuff. So when you go into the properties, you can find a footprint size that you that's closest to what you have. Then you can edit it further in Ulti board. So I'm going to go here and do in place part edit. And you want to use calipers for your parts. Let's say that my part is 300 mils pad spacing. So you can go here. This is the Y direction, as you can see. Um, copy this number. paste it here and I think I believe I said 300 so there you go perfect 300 mil spacing you can erase all this stuff the important thing to notice is you cannot delete this guy right here otherwise ultiboard will not remember what part it is also an important thing to do if you want to Show the 3D model. You click each of these. And you can create a 3D information um, shapes. So right click and place rectangle would be fine. And good. That is not my 3D outline for that part. Now if you press in place part edit again, of course it will disappear, but it's still there. Go up to tools and view 3D, and you will see that that part has changed. Of course you don't want it circular if it's not a circular part, but you get the idea, you can start fooling around with that. The next thing I would do, get rid of that. That's an, that's an error that uh, Ultiboard seems to have. It always pastes my previous labels. I don't know why. Anyway, this rat's nest shows you what things are connected to what. I like to get rid of that while I'm adjusting the pad size and all that. All right, pad sizes are easy. You can select the part, go into through hole technology pads, and control A, and you can change the master pad diameter to 50. That's probably not what you want, but it's a good starting place to see where you're going to be. And as you can tell, this is a 8 pin dip. So I would say 65 mils would be probably a good, no, nope, more than that. Just go as big as you can see fit. Maybe even more than that. I would say that's pretty good. Now, when it comes to placement, this takes a lot of practice and pretty much a lot of experience could be in the field. Let's say you have a part here, part here, and these seem to be snapped properly. If those are not snapped properly, you can go up to edit properties, um, design rules. That's not it actually these are your clearances and traces right here grid and units you can change your grid size and it will snap to that all right let's say I have a trace on the copper bottom go from here it will tell you where you need to go and that is a proper track 
let's say you have a double sided board you can use a copper top this guy can go right here and they can intersect because one is on the top layer of the board and one is in the bottom. Good thing to do for power on an IC of this sort would be to create um, rails type thing. So if you have more than one part you can just run the rail across. That's what I like to do. Another useful thing is I'm going to design and quarter metering. I like to add some, uh, oops, there's a problem with that. You can click place arcs. Oh, that's nice. It smooths out all your lines. So that will uh, reduce the change of impedance. Then I go up to add teardrops. And that's also nice. Um, they can go to 3D again. And there you go. That's your top layer. And on bottom, you see as well. That's about as far as I will go for showing you what to do because. It really takes more than a video to get this down. So just try it out. And um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. See, this is bad right here. You do not want any copper going into pads that are, shouldn't be there. So I'd probably do something like that. Cool, huh? Alright, take care.